A star witness taking the stand today in the case against three Tacoma police officers charged in connection to Manny Ellis's death. In emotional testimony, Ellis's sister talks about her personal loss. Good evening and thank you for joining us for the News at 9. I'm Hannah Kim. And on the stand today, Monet Carter Mixon said she kept up with her brother regularly. She says she missed a video message from Ellis on March 3rd of 2020. Later that same day, there was a struggle between Ellis and two of the Tacoma officers charged with his death. I got a phone call from someone from the medical examiner's office um, telling me that they had my body, my, my brother's body there with him. Carter Mixon said she tried for months to find out more information on what happened to her brother. In June, she finally got a message, she says, from one of the eyewitnesses who recorded a part of the incident. The family held a press conference today for the first time since the trial began. Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman was there. Ali, so what did they have to say? I can tell you that it, this whole week has been a lot for them. A lot of anger, grief, pain, and they say that their main fight is justice for Manny. More importantly, they want to make it clear that this is not about politics, but as you mentioned, making it clear and understanding not only for them, but for the entire community to know what really happened to Manny that night. He was my best friend. He was my person. Going before jurors is something Manny Ellis's sister, Monet Carter Mixon, has been dreading. I just feel like it was unnecessary because this trial is not about me. As week one into the murder trial of Manny Ellis concludes, she, her mother, their attorney, along with the Tacoma Collective, spoke out for the first time. Quite frankly, it's been a show in there. So I really don't know. The defense is trying to make my brother out as a crazed addict. A 33-year-old beloved brother and son died following an arrest in March of 2020. Prosecutors have described his encounter with accused officers Christopher Burbank and Matthew Collins as an unprovoked beating. Well, Ellis said, I can't breathe, sir, and that the officers responded by saying, shut the F up. Defense lawyers said Ellis died because he was high and he had a bad heart. In fact, two prior incidents from 2019 and 2015 where Ellis was also allegedly on meth have been brought up. Loved ones say his struggles with the stimulant have never been a secret. My brother wasn't perfect, none of us are, but just because a person has a history of drug use or a history of mental illness, doesn't give anybody, let alone a police officer, the right to maim you in the street and beat you to death. Monet says the last three years have been difficult without Ellis. The toughest has been walking in and out of court, watching videos of the incident played frame by frame, some of which she says she gathered, trying to figure out what happened that night. She says this is going to be a long-term fight, which is helping with her grief. This right here, following through with making sure that charges were brought upon these officers and hopefully them being charged and sentenced appropriately, that's what get, keeps me going. Monet was excused from the stand earlier today. Now his mother, Manny Ellis's mother, is expected to take the stand next week. Of course, our coverage will continue both on air and online at fox13seattle.com. Live in Tacoma, Alejandra Guzman, Fox 13 News.